the G750 is the 2013 gaming notebook from Republic of Gamers. While still designed with a stealth fighter aircraft in mind, those familiar with the previous G46 will instantly see the relationship. The rear vents and all aluminium keyboard are similar in design, except the G750 is now a larger 17 inch and accommodates more hardware. Of that hardware, it's all brand new, using the latest 4th gen Core i7-4700HQ CPU and NVIDIA GTX 765M, 770M or 780M graphics depending on what model you buy. Between the CPU and GPU, each has a separate fan to better balance the cooling and noise. The vents are rear facing, keep the heat away from you rather than your mouse hand or the peripherals either side. Like previous generations, the ROG logo is backlit and the plastic uses a soft touch rather than glossy style. Other connectivity on either side includes four USB 3.0 ports, gigabit ethernet, an SD card slot and 3.5mm headphone and microphone jacks. The mini DisplayPort connector also doubles up as a Thunderbolt port in some models. You can tell by the sticker on the side just to make sure. Combined with a mini DisplayPort, HDMI 1.4 and VGA, you can power up the four displays at once. On the other side, there's a full HD LCD with the option of choosing a 120Hz 3D version. Inside on the keyboard, it's backlit with separate number pad and arrow keys for ergonomics. Sound is 2.1 with a bass speaker built in underneath, but if you prefer using a headset though, there's also a headphone amplifier built into the 3.5mm jack. The Audio Wizard software in Windows allows you to select between one of five preset modes, and expanding the software allows you to tweak the EQ just how you like. Upgrades for memory and storage are simple. Simply flip over the G750 and locate the single screw underneath the rubber flap. Once the bottom panel has been removed, you now have access to two DIMM slots and two 3.5 inch hard drive or SSD spaces. A maximum 32 gig memory can be installed, but please note that 1.35 volt DDR3 SODIMs are required. The storage bays can fit either hard drives or SSDs up to 9.5 millimeters in depth. They can be set in singular, RAID 0 or RAID 1 mode, which can be set in the BIOS. The existing storage can be removed by unscrewing the three surrounding screws and pulling back on the tack. The caddy can then be transferred to the new drive. Once you're done, simply reverse the process and replace the bottom flap. 